Welcome back. Cancel culture in the classroom. The New York Department of Education is announcing New York City will become the latest city to not have students celebrate Columbus Day. The district instead plans to have a combined October holiday called Italian Heritage Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. As you know, I have uh, anchored the Columbus yeah. Day Parade every year, pretty much for 20 years, Dagan McDowell, and I was the Grand Marshal of the uh, Columbus uh, Weekend once as well, and I love Columbus Day. I don't know why they want to kill Columbus Day. It makes no sense. What do you think? Uh, because that this is what the education departments, school systems are focused on rather than educating yeah. children, right. period. Uh, they have set back kids across this country, the teachers' unions. I call them power-hungry yes, science have. deniers that really hate children. We've come to find that out. Uh, they've set back a generation of kids by, re by pushing this remote learning. It's disgraceful. Here in New York City, uh, there is overt discrimination targeted at Asian American students because the school chancellor is trying to get rid of merit-based test admissions to the eight highly effective high schools here in New York. And it's discrimination against Asian students and Asian immigrants. And I just, that's what they're focused on. And it's just, I don't know, I, I'm glad that I'm old that I don't have to educate kids at this point and that I'm not trying to get an education myself. It's, it's a really uh, sad state of affairs, Steve Forbes. I, I will be interested in, in better understanding how far behind our students have been left, uh, how much money they've left on the table because they won't get the salaries that others will get in their age group. How many jobs will be out of their reach because of what took place in year 2020 and still in 2021? Your thoughts on that? I mean, our kids are really at a disadvantage right now. And uh, you've got to look to the school unions for leadership, and we are just not getting it. Well, the uh, unions are more interested in themselves than in the kids, and uh, they don't want to work. And we get more and more incidents of that. So the key thing is, where do we go from here? And I think where we have to go from here is have a movement for genuine school choice where the money follows the students, not the schools. So if a parent wants to send a kid to a parochial school or a private school or some other kind of school, they should be absolutely free to do so. It's scandalous and immoral that your education is determined by your zip code. Parents should not be a, 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 have that kind of a restrictions put on them. So I hope what the unions did is a wake-up call to everyone. You can't reform this system. It's beyond reform. But if you get real competition in schools by allowing parents to have genuine school choice with that money, by golly, those government-run schools will get their act together because they know there'll be consequences of their disgraceful behavior. Yeah, and, and instead they're focused on what to call Columbus Day.